Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Washington Pain Network. Today's topic is what you need to know about facet injections. A facet joint, spelled F-A-C-E-T, are joints that are on either side of the spine at every level all the way from the neck down to the sacrum. So you can see on the left, the right, left, right, at every level, they have cartilage just like the hip or the knee and together they combine to allow for an incredible range of motion of our spines. What makes facet joints painful? Well, they're prone to arthritis. They have cartilage just like these other joints. Even though they're small, they can cause an incredible amount of pain when they become arthritic. Typically, it leads to pain in the vicinity of the arthritic joint. Often, patients have several arthritic joints at one time, so they may have bilateral pain on the right and left sides of the back. Here's an arthritic facet joint. This one looks normal, okay, nice cartilage here, no overgrowth of bone. Here you have overgrowth of bone due to arthritis um, and inflammation hitting the nerve roots there and here. Okay. For a symptomatic facet arthritis, there really is not a great surgical answer. Okay, We don't have a set joint, facet joint replacement like we do uh, for the knee or the hip. They've tried to make one, it just has not been very successful. There are some great non-operative options and one of these is a facet joint injection. Okay, so the needle goes right into the joint and administers a uh, steroid. Uh, the facet joints do respond well to steroid injections. The procedure is outpatient. It takes about 10, 20, maybe 30 minutes max. Modern pain doctors use fluoroscopy, which is a real-time form of x-ray. Typically, you don't need IV sedation. Some patients who may be claustrophobic might need it or, or whatnot. Uh, the skin is numbed and the soft tissues are numbed down to the area around the arthritic joint. The needle is then placed into the joint, uh, and then some dye is placed to make sure it's in the joint. And once the placement is satisfactory, that's when the steroid and numbing medicine are placed. The procedure can be repeated every few months as necessary. How well do they work? Well, 82% of patients receive pain relief of over 50%. And also significant functional improvement was seen in almost 80%, and that's whether or not steroid was used. So the results have been very satisfactory. The average duration of pain relief is almost four months at 15 weeks, and, and that's been repeated in another study as well. So it's an excellent non-operative method of achieving neck or, neck or back pain relief due to spinal arthritis. So what happens if the pain comes back? Well, basically what you're doing with a facet injection is putting the needle right into these joints, okay? There's another procedure where you put steroid and numbing medicine around the joint, and that can help block these nerve endings called the medial branches from transmitting pain to the brain, okay? So what you can do as a secondary initiative after a facet injection wears off is do a radiofrequency ablation where a needle comes down, an electrical current comes through it, and thermal energy deadens those little nerve endings called the medial branches. All right, that's a radiofrequency ablation. That can provide pain relief anywhere from 6 to 18 months. Whereas, you know, a facet injection or the medial branch block or anywhere from 3 to 6 months, that's 6 to 18 months. So it's very helpful. Are there risks? There are very, very low risks. You're not putting the needle into the spinal canal, so there's minimal risk of any nerve injury. Um, there's a very slight risk of infection, bleeding, or an allergic reaction. The top non-operative pain management in Washington is with the Washington Pain Network. There are multiple affiliated clinics throughout the state accepting over 50 insurances and providing over 25 treatment options. There's over a 90% average success rate with the board-certified award-winning doctors. Visit us online at WashingtonPainNetwork.com and then call us for more information and scheduling at 877-877-8556. I'm Dr. David Green with the Washington Pain Network. Your pain stops here.